In Hampshire in England, not far from Southampton, lies Eastleigh. Their semi-professional team, Eastleigh Football Club, compete in the fifth tier of English football, and among their ranks is defender Gavin Hoyt. The 27-year-old played one Premier League game for Arsenal in 2008, but his sporting story begins with his parents. I grew up in uh, Hainault, uh, me and my brother, um, with my mum and my dad, a um, very sporting family. My mum and dad, they met through athletics. My mum was a sprinter. Um, he was a sprinter as well, but he, due to injury, he didn't get as uh, good as my mum. She didn't really used to talk about back in the day how she used to swim, but um, not too long ago we uh, found a little YouTube clip of her, so um, he was giving her a bit of stick about that. It was pretty amazing to watch her, like, it was in the Commonwealth Games. So yeah, it was always, always up in a sporting family. We always used to play in the garden and things like that, really. But um, to be honest, we had, we had the choice to go from athletics or football. I think that I had to choose football. It was always more so as a team sport, I think. I preferred athletics. You was on your own, and I didn't really like that. I remember my dad asking me, because it was a time where I was, I was running in, uh, for Essex and um, playing for Arsenal as well. And it was a time I had to choose whether I was going to go to athletics or take up football full time. So, and I had to choose football. I started off at Arsenal when I was uh, nine, just um, playing in the, I think it was the JVC centre. And um, yeah, that was, that was some good days. Uh, my brother, he was playing as well at the time. I always used to watch him as well and I, like, look up to him a lot. Henri looking for the return to the fullback, Justin Hoyt! An unlikely scorer! We used to get free tickets to the game. So I always used to sit in the North Bank, sitting there, singing all the songs with the fans. I used to love it. I used to go to, I went to like a few FA Cup finals as well, so I had like a day trip out. So that, I think that was amazing. I was captain of the 18s. I uh, played quite a lot of games in the reserves. I was there for a while. So yeah, I think it was a, one of the best times. I enjoyed football a lot. It, it was more camaraderie back then, I think. Gavin admits that as a youngster with everything at his feet, it was easy to become swept up by a sense that he was already on his way. When you're at a big club like Arsenal as well, you do get like caught up in that little bubble thinking, yeah, I'm, like, I'm at Arsenal, the best club, I'm going to make it. Like, you're at the best club, you've got the best facilities, you've got the best coaches, so you do, you do have that bit of arrogance. One day in training in 2008, Hoyt and a few fellow youth players were told that one of them would soon be getting their chance. There was three of us, me, Armand Traore and Jack Wilshire. We um, went up to train a bit earlier because we were the younger boys. And then Boro Primak, the coach, we were just kicking the ball around and he was like, one of you are going to make your debut today. Like, which one do you think is going to be? And all three of us said, it was going to be Jack, but then he said, no, no, it's Gavin, it's going to be you. I spoke to my brother saying, look, I think I'm starting the next game. He's like, yeah, you, you ready, you ready? Yeah, just, just, just be yourself, be confident and you'll do great. You step out and then the, the theme song's going on and then you're standing up, lining up and coming to shake hands. Standing next to Robinho, I think Stephen Island was there, Sean Wright Phillips. No, no better feeling than that. Gal Clichy came up to me, he was just talking to me, saying, just relax and like, you'll do great. So they, they help calm the nerves as well. This is Robinho for Manchester City! Gavin Hoyt has had a tough time at right back this afternoon. Yes, he has indeed. And certainly, young Hoyt has time on his side. Unfortunately, that was the only game Gavin would play in the Premier League and one of his last in an Arsenal shirt. Repeated loan spells followed until he left the Gunners in 2012. Today, 
Gavin is enjoying his time at Eastleigh. And for the young man from East London, there's definitely life in football outside of the Premier League. But that one appearance among England's elite will forever live in his heart as one of the best experiences of his life. I think as you go lower down, you, you get more togetherness, I think. There's a great group of boys here, so I enjoy every day, even though I've come quite far, two hours, I think it is, and uh, I enjoy it a lot. For me to get from nine to the first team is a great achievement for anyone. I was an uh, Arsenal support when I was young. Every young player wants to play football, and I play for one of the best clubs in the, in the world, really, so it's still up there from that young to get into the first team. I mean, and no one can take that away.